Hey everybody, it's me again. What's going on? Hope you guys are doing excellent today. Hope you had a great weekend. And yeah, it's Monday. It's back to normal schedule wise and it's time to be doing some medical block out. If you guys didn't see the stream on Friday, I was filling in for Steve and we got the security level finished in that stream. So that was super exciting. So now it's the final stretch. This is the final level I have to do. And it's the medical level. So I'm not expecting this to be done super quick because this is a big level, but we've got, I've got until the end of the month to get it finished. So uh, yeah, this is going to be, this is going to be good. So uh, I've got Callie with me. Hi, Hi Callie. How are you doing? Pretty good. Uh, I just opened up a NAS, so oh. we'll see how things go. Right. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Ooh. Okay, so let's crack right on with things. Let's get rid of this guy here. Oh, I suppose I should. If you guys didn't see um, Friday's stream, I'll give you a quick view of what we were able to finish off with. So, when it loads, there we go. So, yep, there's full screen. So, um, yeah, on Friday, we got this bad boy finished. Ooh, Unreal's really chugging right now. But, um... Yep. This is the state of the security level. All nice and finished now. Right all the way up to the bridge. One thing I need to do, though, is I need to go make sure that the annotations are okay. Um, they're not finished quite just yet. But, um... Yep. That's how we finished off on, uh, on Friday. So if you want to watch that, I think they're all on YouTube now, so you can go back and watch it. Um, I need to add two more to YouTube because I need to get the stream thumbs and stuff. Mm. Then they'll all be there. Fair enough. So, yeah. And uh, we finished off um, the 20-minute challenge, as Carly called it. Uh, see how much I could get done in 20 minutes. Pretty much got this area done in 20 minutes, which wasn't bad. Um, yeah, now it's time to carry on. I cannot believe I've almost got the entirety of this station leveled out, uh, blocked out. It's kind of crazy. I can't remember when I started doing this about, uh, two, three, no, not two, three months ago. About seven, eight months ago, I think. Um, so yeah. It's been a long, interesting road, but um, yeah, getting to the end of it now, which is kind of sad because this has been a lot of fun, but uh, nothing lasts forever. I feel like emotional songs should be playing right now. Mm-hmm. The world's saddest, the world's smallest violin playing the world's saddest song yeah. just for me. But, yeah. Mm. So, hope you guys, like I said, hope you guys had a good weekend. If you did anything interesting, do share with us, let us know. Um, and we can have a chat about it while we're doing level design. Oh, yeah. <coughs> Um, and if anyone has questions for Daniel that we can possibly answer, just at us, and we'll be able to see your question. In other news, it is... I, I can't describe... If you are in the UK, you might understand, but I can't describe the level of humidity. It is so hot. We're supposed to, we, we were supposed to have rain today, but it didn't rain. Um, instead, um, it was glorious. Obsidian and has a question for you. What's that? Why are you doing medical? 
Why am I doing medical? Uh, because it needs blocking out, just like all the other levels. I know... The, the question's redoing. Oh, redoing. Um, well, that kind of fits in with what I just mentioned. It, it needs doing. Medical needs doing. Um, Chris can really only do so much, um, but it just it just does need blocking out. Um it just helps with the whole the, the whole process, stitching levels together, um, just making sure that everything's okay. So it, it has to be done. Uh, I think that's fairly accurate of that ramp. Um, Let's say yes. Question. What's the public alpha thingy that was teased in the backer update? Um, and did you read our update yet? I don't. Even I don't uh, even know if I asked you this. I am so guilty. Uh, I <laughs> you, you have caught you have caught me red-handed. Told me away. <laughs> uh, I I have not read it. Uh, the reason why I haven't read it is because I already know what's in it, so I don't. Yeah. Really, I don't really read them, but um, so, but from what I can understand, from what I've heard, the adventure alpha will be out in September, and the game will be fully. You you can fully run through the game from start to finish. That's um, the plan. Um, mm -hmm. I don't. I want to preface with I don't know if we're counting. Um, uh, why can't I? I think of words right now. <laughs> um, cyberspace. I don't know if that's yeah. going to include cyberspace though. No, I want to. Cyberspace will not be included. Um, it will just be um, a run through of the game. All the all the main levels. The walk you around the levels from start to finish. Uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Uh, Though so I'm not sure how we're going to be rolling out that alpha. It, it's going to have to come down to once we know more in person, like once it's done. Oh, I had a chat with Steve about it. I have a fairly good idea of what we're going to do. Okay, cool. Um, PSA, hope you all have Steam accounts. <laughs> Uh, two, yeah, that's twelve, and we want to go that way. Two hundred. Really short ramp. I don't need to do this much stuff in too much detail because we already have it done. But it's just kind of here anyway to make sure that the space is okay. That is half of that block. That is not 50, that is 100. There we go. And we got several of them. That there. That there. Um. Gotta fill in all those little gaps. Um, that's that's two hundred. That's four hundred. Just gonna move the stream window so I don't accidentally close the stream. That would be bad. There we go. Uh, Silver Dogs asks. So is. Are there going to be slight geometry updates? I'm a little concerned about getting stuck on 90s geometry and modern controls. Um, in the block out that I've done, yes. Um, there are small changes, but um, overall it's nothing you'd really notice that much. Uh, some areas, maybe. Uh, but the majority of things you wouldn't really notice unless you look really carefully. Um, but everything should be fine. You there should be, um, yeah, you should be able to get through it fine. Hmm. Make this three hundred. Two 
That ramp is not entirely flat with the ceiling, but I don't care. <laughs> that will be a thing, that will be a geometry thing that you probably won't notice, but I am changing because that doesn't make any sense, and it makes makes the roof a bit more of a pain to deal with. So I'm not doing it. Um, here's something else. Uh, I know you're all early on, but things are but but what things are you expecting from people who want to glitch or mess around with the level design, like trying to get through walls, etc. Um, <clears throat> I would say personally, go nuts. Just make sure you video it so we can fix the bugs. Because <laughs> um, if they are pretty bad bugs, we kind of need to know about them. So. It'd be awfully nice if you could send those along to us. Two, four, six, eight, twelve. You know, same as the floor, I could just copy the floor. There we go. This room is fairly complicated. Um, oh, sorry. So, uh, I was just about to say, it seems that the news of the Adventure Alpha has gone down quite well with people, so I'm happy for that. Um, yeah. It's good that you'll be able to get to finally do things, see what we've been up to. Well, you, you've seen what I'm up to, but there's a whole lot of other things that you should see. Yeah, I'm excited to keep showing more and more. Mm-hmm. Uh, here's another question. Do you know how the original levels were blocked out? I'm guessing they didn't have this nice visual uh, utility. <laughs> um, I have no idea how they were blocked out originally. No idea, and obviously, um, there are there are screenshots of the um, Ultima Underworld editor, which I believe is somewhat reminiscent of how Shock was made. Um, the image isn't that hard to find, but uh, that would that would give you some kind of an idea. But it's not it's nowhere near as nice as Unreal. Obviously. Uh I'm just going to make that 400. <laughs> 200, that is 600 across. Here's a question. What's your favorite graphic or texture from the original system shop? Um, <clears throat> probably would be Shodan. Um, not the face. The um, version you fight of her in cyberspace. Because it's, it's such a kind of surprise. It's, oh, I expected to be fighting a giant face. No, actually, you're fighting what she is um, she the the developers I guess gave her a human face so that she's a bit more relatable but the final I thing mean, is it makes this sense. yeah but this but the boss is an actual the actual station itself with devil tentacles <laughs> so I mean like 
when Shodan's like trying to communicate through like a like a visual screen, it only makes sense because she's observing humans that she would want to like present herself that way. Like it's... this is what people like. This is what the cool kids like. <laughs> I just assumed it was to make her more relatable. Um, you can't really, you can't really um, relate to a cone with. Well, I mean, with, 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 they with do it in bits. other games and movies and stuff. Mm -hmm. Have AIs not look like human? I just think she like that's what she wants to present herself as. I can't believe I just said that. Now I'm going to have all the cone people come out and say, "How dare I?" I know. <laughs> <laughs> how 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 dare I not include that demographic of cone people to which I immediately apologize do, 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 do. Oh. Two, four, six, eight hundred. okay we have a Steve in the chat hello, hello. he snuck in hi Steve how's it going it's going. It's going very well, thank you. Did I hear you open up a Lacroix? That's exactly what that was. <laughs> Is that the name of the flavor? Did you open this up? Did you mean to open it? Did you? Mean to open it? <laughs> <laughs> this one's called passion fruit. Mmm. Or passion lack of for passion that fruit. Idea of you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> Guys, if you've got questions about the adventure alpha, now's a really good time, just saying. Oh. Well, oh. yeah, actually, now that Steve's here, there's, it opens up the amount of questions you could ask. Oh, boy. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> you know what you're in for. It's like opening a, a can time. of LaCroix. <laughs> <laughs> We're all LaCroix boys here. They don't sell it over here, so I have no idea what this drink is. It's just fizzy water with the idea of flavor. <laughs> Fair enough. It mm. just tantalizes you with the prospect of having something good. <laughs> well, hmm, was that a taste I just tasted? <laughs> I'm not sure. That was once a natural fruit, fruit flavor. Now it's just chemicals. Chemicals and sadness. I don't. I don't even think there's that many chemicals in it, to be honest. I think they're just pretending that there's fruit in there. I saw this GIF of fruit being thrown through water, and I'm like, yes, that's how they flavor this. <laughs> <laughs> Pappy says it's like, uh, like drinking a smell. <laughs> it's pretty. Um... Pretty accurate. Yeah. <laughs> Drinking a smell. There's something I thought I'd yeah. never hear. It, it feels accurate. I can already feel my heart pumping. I've been drinking Nas. Here's another description. It's like drinking a glass of water with someone shouting the name of a fruit in the next room. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Something isn't uh, quite right here. So, so here's a question. So the Adventure Alpha has no enemies and it's meant to roam and explore? Uh, that's right. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I didn't know if we were going to expand. <laughs> that's fine. Also, we have to just, uh, who, who brought it up? Um, Oma, uh, Nadlo? I don't know how to say this name, but I'm going to just call them Oma. Oma says, what's our, uh, movie club movie now? We need, a, we haven't picked one in a while. Oh, man. It's turning into a monthly movie club. I know. 
Let's think mm. of a movie then. Hmm. Let's think. I think the last movie I saw was uh, The Incredibles Two. That was a good movie. I liked it. It's good. Uh, but that's not out yet, so we can't have that one. Yeah. Event Horizon. We can... That's what Wolf and Box oh, says. Oh, man. Event Horizon is a movie that gave me nightmares as a kid, but then I watched it as an adult, and I'm like, huh. And no this gave me... No spoilers. Oh, well... I haven't seen I... it. <laughs> it's weird to say no spoilers for a movie that's been out so long, but okay. I know! I'm sorry. I'm so bad at these. There's oh, a... So um... bring up Dark City. That movie's really good. Yeah, I'd watch Dark City again. That's that's a fantastic I film. I love that movie. Oh, you know a movie I just saw, um, which was really interesting, was uh, it's called Micmacs. Micmacs. Mic Micmacs with an M. Micmacs. Micmacs. It's a French film uh, by the guys that did uh, Amelie. Oh. And The City of Lost Children and Delicatessen. Interesting. And uh, it's more along the lines of Amelie than it is those other two films, but it's still really it's it's weird, but it's really well done. It's it's a um, almost like a inverse heist movie, kind of, where um, this guy grows up without a father because he like stepped on a landmine. And then when he is an adult, he, uh, like, gets shot in the head um, while he's leaving the video store that he works at. And he survives, and he finds out that the uh, the company that made the landmine and the company that made the bullet that shot him are these two competing, uh, like, arms dealers in France with their offices right, uh, right across from one another. And so he he basically vows to uh, to destroy them both, and so he oh. falls in line with this uh, like motley crew of like society's outcasts, and they plan these like elaborate um, like almost like espionage uh, or trolling. I guess is probably the more. Uh, accurate way of putting it and they troll the uh the ceos of these companies and turn them on each other uh it's, it was pretty good i um i had never seen it before and i, I really enjoyed it Sounds i'm looking really at cool, the photos actually. i'm looking at the photos for right now and i do get like the same kind of color theory that you would see in Amelie. oh yeah the lighting and the colors in this movie are uh phenomenal whoever did the uh cinematography is um just incredibly talented uh so yeah i saw knickknacks um there's a i was gonna say there's a really funny video um that this one guy does he like works in uh, film design specifically like designing props that have uh specific functions in a movie and he calls out um that scene in event horizon where it's not a spoiler <laughs> where uh, he sits in uh, that like captain's chair on board his ship I don't know if you remember that scene and it's like the most ridiculous chair ever um, you'd probably have to see it again but he like sits down in this chair and it like turn 360 degrees and then like move oh I think I know what chair you mean yeah it's like so cumbersome and it's like they instead of just having him like just sit in a chair and be done with it it's like this super elaborate Extra. mechanical thing and it serves no purpose and it actually slows down the movie because they have to <laughs> wait for the chair yeah the movie did scare me as a kid but now it just kind of makes me giggle yeah i feel in it because <laughs> i really like was scared of it when i was younger <laughs> like i had nightmares I need to see this now. I'll probably watch it uh, later tonight. It's got Sam Neill in it too, which is... Uh, uh, he was like one of my favorite actors growing up. 
mostly because of Jurassic Park. But it's pretty awesome. I, uh, I'm thinking about like uh, French films now because you brought up Mic Max. Mm -hmm. And I recently, I think it was a week or two ago, watched My Life as Zucchini. It's like the the claymation stop motion film. Oh, I have not seen that. Um, they added it to Netflix, I believe. But um, it's really good. Very like a mixture of depressing and heartwarming. Sounds like Bojack. I'm in the same way as like that kind of sadness, I guess. But. It's about um, a boy whose uh, mother dies because of an accident he caused, but she wasn't a very good mom, and then he gets sent to a foster home, and it's about the kids in him there. And then the um, the cop who helped, like, as a social worker for him, kind of being involved in his life. I would recommend. And it's stop but, motion? Yeah. Huh. Oh, okay. It's very good. Stop motion films. I like uh, Fantastic Mr. Fox. That one's so good. That's probably one of my favorite stop motion films. Did you see The Isle of Dogs yet? Ugh, nope. No, I want to. I haven't seen it yet either, and like I'm a huge Wes Anderson fan, and I, I, I think I was just waiting for it to be out of the theater because I'm tired of going to movie theater. The movie theaters <laughs> around here are so cheap that like I don't know why I don't go more. It's like five dollars to go to a movie most days now. Five dollars. Yeah, because they're trying to get people back into the movies. Because no one goes anymore. That's an incredible price. It's still like $12 around here for just a standard movie, not even 3D. I mean, maybe it's more like in other areas, but um, I, I guess maybe in my area it's very cheap. I'm trying to think. Uh, there's some stop motion elements in uh, The Life Aquatic. Oh yeah, there he is. Um, let's see. Last night I watched the last two episodes of that uh, that toy documentary on Netflix. Um, what's it called? Toy Story. You know, the toy one. Toy Story. Nope, that's oh. not what it's called. Um. But that was really cool. I watched how, like, the the background on how uh, Barbie came to be. And, oh, uh, I watched Hello a lot of Kitty. Barbie ones. The Hello Kitty one I like a lot because it, the one of the like the lady that's like known as the mother of Hello Kitty. She wears a lot of Lolita brands, like I do. She mostly oh, wears yeah. Emily Temple Cute, which is a very cute brand. Everyone I... is saying it's the toys that made us. Yeah, that's it. I noticed that. Carly, actually, I was like, "Hey, that's like Carly that's in sixty years." <laughs> exactly, it is. No joke. I look at her and I want to cry because I'm like, "That's gonna be me." <laughs> A sad vision of things to come. No, it's actually happy in my eyes because oh. if I can be that old and still being true to myself, then that's beautiful. Oh. Yes. I, I mean, I'm gonna I say a lot of people throw away their personality because they feel like they have to when they get older it's like they think they have to be this like some form of like molded adult that doesn't have to be um i thought it was like the story of how barbie was conceived was especially interesting yeah um it started off as basically uh this woman who started Mattel with her husband and they mm -hmm. like primarily made boys toys and then uh, she wanted something for her daughter to enjoy because back then all they had was like paper dolls and when they were on a yeah. trip in Switzerland they found a like basically a Barbie doll 
um, but it represented something far more devious. It was basically a, like an action figure based on this uh, cartoon in the local newspaper of base of a call girl, essentially who would <laughs> go out and have yeah. unsolicited or solicited sex with all these men, and then she became kind of a symbol for that. So like, you would bring an action that the doll of her along with some flowers or something on a date and it would kind of like reveal your intentions <laughs> what i didn't know that. Yeah, yeah for real the thing is i really love like barbie in a huge way because i do love those paper dolls and dress up games and dress up dolls and like there's lots of elements of barbie that are very feminist and powerful it just with the evolution of time that changes a lot but it's like she's coming back now. You think so? We we had a big discussion about that uh, last night. I, well, as we were watching it, because um, every time I go to the store, I always go to the toy aisle just to see what's Me going too. on in there. And I don't know. It just doesn't seem like we, we, we have this weird feeling that toys are kind of like on their way out. Well, t toys as a whole concept, yeah, they're more for adults in a way now, because adults care more about toys than kids do. I'm still a Toys R Us kid. Nobody is anymore. Illegal. Mm. <laughs> Illegal. Yep. Well, te technically, it's uh, not true. They're still they're still going very strong in Japan, aren't they? So it's not they're not out of business, really, are they? I thought they yeah, they're not fully. bankrupt. No, the, the toys are well, extremely popular in Japan, from what I've heard. Um, toys R Us, um, there's like a whole thing of what happened with them, and it's all insider stuff, and I can link you to it, but it's really messed up. Because technically, they weren't doing bad. Technically. But anyway, with Barbie... Um, they're, they've been bringing back some of the retro-styled Barbies, too, recently, and some of, like, the feminist icon Barbies. They're really doing well. Oh. Let me find had, some links. I had no idea. But then, like, there's still people who won't buy dolls for their kids. Like, they're just anti-dolls. But I don't know why. I don't think you have to be anti-doll. I just think you have to work on, like, changing the way you look at them and the way you play with them, I guess. I still want a Johnny Long Torso. Oh, you mean Stretch Armstrong? <laughs> don't you know Johnny Long Torso? Oh, come on, no. tell, me, t tell, me, don't tell me you forgot huh? the MST3 no. thing. Oh, Johnny Long Torso. Johnny Long real. Torso, Johnny Long Torso, the man who comes in pieces. He's long. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it cracks me up every time. Never mind, I'm just in my own sad little world. Continue. What episode was that? I don't remember that. Oh, that little song got a subscribe, so. Woo! <laughs> All right. Keep singing. Yep. <laughs> dance, monkey, dance. No. Well, maybe later. Oh my goodness! How am I supposed to get gallery screenshots for wizardry at nineteen twenty by ten eighty? Uh, that ain't gonna happen. Which one? Six, seven, or eight? I don't know. Maybe all three. If you're on the I don't know. if you're on Dustbox uh, Dom. That I put up on Steam, it should run in 1020 by 1080. 1920 by mm. 1080. Should do. <laughs> hmm. uh, three. One. Oh, here's a, a real question that we should answer. So will there be puzzles in the Adventure Alpha? Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, 
Also, I'm still pulling up the links for the Barbie stuff. I just can't, it going on Mattel's site takes forever to go through. I wish I had more space to display stuff. Oh, I forgot they did a Tomb Raider Barbie. <laughs> I didn't know that. Sorry, I'm like looking through. I'm like, what? I really love the vintage style Barbies, though. Mattel needs to fix their website. I told it to sort by a certain kind and it's not doing that. Come on, Unreal. Stop being disagreeable. Someone's asking, will there be a lighthearted family moments in the Adventure Alpha? <laughs> will there be riddles in the Adventure Alpha? The Great Sphinx will be in the Alpha, and if you don't answer the question, it will eat you. Will we have canned Sorry, laughter I'm not in helping. the Adventure Alpha? <laughs> <laughs> will we have canned laughter in the Adventure Alpha? Oh my goodness, come on. Fine, you get deleted. Oh. Okay, you have to go to the Barbie-specific site for the vintage reproductions. I was about to say, I'm glad we've moved on from Fox plushies to this, but now I'm not so sure. Oh yeah, I forgot about all that. I haven't been in the market for a Fox plushie since then. <laughs> I did just get a package from Amazon, but it contains a basketball, so... Oh. Uh, Unreal's being disagreeable. I'm linking in the chat, the stream chat, the different Barbie stuff. Yay, there we go. You know what we they should do is a Shodan Barbie. <laughs> cool. I would get that one. I'd buy one. Oh my gosh, totally hair. 25th anniversary Barbie. She has the longest, curliest hair. Let's oh, yeah, see. There's Wonder Woman ones too. What what question did I not answer very sincerely? I need to go back to that because I was looking up something I couldn't really concentrate. <laughs> oh, about what the adventure alpha is? Oh, riddles. Will there be riddles in the adventure alpha? No, I don't I don't think there are any riddles. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was a joke. <laughs> oh. Are you just post? Oh yeah, look at you just posting Barbie links in our thing. Okay. Yeah, I need to share. Oh, free to oh, oh. Other Inspiring toy women series. Other toy manufacturers are available. Uh, is the Adventure Alpha going to be like a '90s point and click? Nope. It's <laughs> going to be like a first-person shooter without the shooting. It's going to be a first-person. It's going to be like a real estate floor. <laughs> You can buy Citadel. <laughs> what if we We're sold rooms in Citadel Station? You could have your own room. Market value 500000 Ooh, I like it. Where's a... Man, I'm kind of losing my mind here. 
Let's just make System Shock a walking simulator. Okay, done. Easy. Um, it's not technically. <laughs> yeah, never mind. What? Never mind. No, it's fine. One, two, three, four. Oh, we got that all blocked out. That didn't take very long. All right, the in my game? room on Citadel no? Station. Huh? Whole whole game is almost done. Okay. One, two, three, that way. In one of the rooms on Citadel Station, just have a kid's crown drawing of Shodan. And call it My Best Friend Shodan. Hmm. And make it of the haunted. Cone. The cone. Cone of death. So, this floor is... 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. You know what I can't believe is how much money they made making those toys back then. Yeah. What is up with that? How did they make... Like, I just... Totally unrelated. I'm on Twitter, and I follow uh, Kenner Toys. And I think it's just a fan thing for Kenner. And there's a mug. It says $200 million in, in sales, November something, 1970 nine or something probably right after they did the original star wars stuff like they made 200 million dollars in the 70s like how did they how did they <sighs> just how did they where, where did all that money go like shouldn't they still be a company i mean i know they got um acquired by hasbro i think but it's a lot of it's a little it's a lot of dosh as daniel would say Dosh! Grab it while you can, lads. Like, maybe we should be making toys. <laughs> the the industry that we just discussed was failing. <laughs> Steve, I just got a message from someone named Polly Malloy Lucker trying to recruit me for Amazon Game Studios right now. What? For a job I do not want at all. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> I just got a message like, we have, and she misspelled job. She forgot the J. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. She's like, we got a great op opportunity for you. And I was like, what's an op? I spent like a minute going, what's an op? <laughs> wow. Thanks, Polly. Someone needs to employ a spell checker. God damn. Polly, I think it's because no one wants to work at Amazon. Mm -hmm. Aww. Don't feel bad for them. <laughs> yeah, I guess they're trying to poach you, so. I wouldn't go. They probably don't have air conditioning in, in, in any of their offices, so I wouldn't bother. I'm sure that they do. But they're like, we also would provide you with a referral bonus if you do not want this job and have someone else that could fill it. <laughs> what? Hmm. I hope that they're not mad that I'm outing them. Yeah, there's, um, I don't know if you guys have heard it, but, um... A lot of the UK and Europe are actually boycotting Amazon this week because yeah, I think they we're won't. We're doing it the following. Yeah, because they won't put like they don't pay people enough, and they have a, they have obscene working conditions, and it's no. Yeah, Man. they're really bad to their workers. They can af they can af they can afford to put air conditioning in buildings; they just don't want to. 
So that I don't want I to purchase about, any of their crap. Anything I read about the working conditions um, and every every form of their work conditions just sound evil. Mm -hmm. Yeah, seeing as uh, Jeff Bezos is like the most what, like the richest man on the planet or something? Yeah, mm -hmm. something like that. It's like, could you just share a little bit of that? Yeah, like, nope, why, not allowed. Could you not why be do you a, need all that? Could you not be a dick? Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I just called him a dick. We're Don't streaming a on dick. a service not... that they own. <laughs> I I mean. what... Uh-oh, bye guys. If they were about to be a cough in about five seconds. He's going to cancel our ob. <laughs> night, night dive has been defeated. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> My bad. Sorry, Mr. Pizos. Please forgive us. Don't Please steal don't our air conditioning. <laughs> now I'm just sad. It's not my fault. I just had a ton of Nas. I can't be blamed for what I say. <laughs> so, did we pick a movie yet? <laughs> no. Event just Horizon. Talked about wasn't a whole it? bunch of movies. Event Horizon. Huh? Event oh, I guess Horizon. yeah. We can watch that. I don't know if I want to, but we can. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I went through a thing not too long ago where I wanted to upgrade it, upgrade my copy from DVD to Blu-ray, because hmm. the it's so it's like six dollars or something on Amazon. So I was like, what? You, I, you know, to watch it. those extra pixels, you know, <laughs> it's worth it. So um, I like put in an order. And it never showed up, and so I ordered another one, uh, which they gave to me for free. And then my next door neighbor comes over like on the same day, and she's like, "Hey, they accidentally left this at my front door, and I've been on vacation. Sorry, I couldn't bring it to you sooner." So Oops. now I have two copies oh. of Event Horizon on Blu-ray. That's too many. It is. I didn't ask for this. It's your responsibility now. You've been cursed. We have a question about, are you guys working on a Truck 3 remaster? Oh, Truck 3? Yeah. It sounded like you said Truck 3, and I was like, what is this? Let's work on Truck 3. That What's sounds truck, great. What's Truck 3? I was listening to one of the college radio stations around here, and they had a segment of just car-themed music. Anything <laughs> that was music that had the word like car or truck or motorcycle in it. And they were saying, one of these songs are like, and this is I Want to Be a Truck from the album I Am a Truck. And I was <laughs> like, what? <laughs> what is this? Did uh, did John ever make you listen to Snake Farm? I don't know. Maybe. <clears throat> I'm not sure if that's appropriate to put on the stream or even to suggest mm. people listen to it. But, if it's uh, from John, I can't trust it. Snake Farm. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm gonna have to look that up. It's exactly what I just told you not to do, but mm -hmm. well, I'm not gonna do it now. Obviously. <laughs> Snake Farm. Um, I was gonna say, uh, Carly, was it like mostly country music? No, it was really random, but the I Am A Truck one was country. 
I am a pole and so can you. But one of them is like, here in my car, butta 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 ba ba, you know? Oh, but that uh, one, that, yeah. That's Gary Newman, isn't it? No. I don't know who that is. I feel um, safe as a ball. I yeah, I'm here. Yeah. That's to Gary Newman. My I'm God. sure it is. Yeah, I know it's Gary Newman. Dude. But I just wanted to go ba da 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 da. You know? Sometimes you just gotta. Just gotta ba da 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 da. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> the wizardry logo is too big. Too dang big. Fix it, Dan. Too dang big for the. Uh, I would, but I'm doing block out. Sorry. Brock wants to know: Will the slopes and system shock be turned into stairs eventually? Ooh. It's a damn da -da 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 <laughs> Uh, I'd say <laughs> yes, because slopes don't make any sense. For skate to do. For skate... A Citadel's a skate station. Thanks for just blowing a hole in my theory. <laughs> I like that. Citadel skate station. Yeah. <laughs> it's our new game. It's like Tony Hawk. But in orbit. Yeah. That's a great idea. Alright, let's do that instead. Okay. New game. New game plus. Start plus. over. Something weird is going on. I don't think a lot of this. I don't think a lot of these things are either 100 in height or 50 in height. I think they're 75. And Matt's going to kill me if I do that. Mind you, he's already blocked it out anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. So I'll just do it. Yeah, I had a feeling this level might be a pain. Haven't they all, though? Mm, not really. Security was lots of fun. The other level I still have kind of nightmares about is uh, level 7. Yeah, this is just screwing up everything. I'm going to come back to this room later. I'm going to go and model a different part of the station. Yeah, just going to. Mm hmm. I'm just, just going to abandon that. I'm just... I'm just going to abandon ship on this and I'm going to move somewhere else. <laughs> Let's go to Pipe World. Pipe World. Someone mentioned Workman's Comp because of Citadel Station having only ramps. I'm reading hmm. the chat. With no railings? Yeah. Well, you have to have yeah. railings to do sick grinds off of. <laughs> Not wrong. <laughs> um, someone says, will the station have lots of creepy ambient sounds like System Shock 2? Yes. Lots of but, yes and no yeah. questions this stream. <laughs> <laughs> that was my favorite part about the Unity demo, if I'm honest. I love the atmosphere of that so much. 
I could just the have sat. Everything. Yeah, I could have just sat in there all day and just listened to the atmosphere, just just the ambient sounds and stuff. Sometimes John will send me ambient music he makes, and I like listening to that. I like the creepy vibes. I like being spooked. Hmm. Someone says one of the ambient sounds will be a Lacroix opening. <laughs> 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 <clears throat> This is just going to be a thing I feel like is going to haunt me the rest of my life. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like our vending machines on station have to have LaCroix or something that implies it's LaCroix. They could have... Like a wink wink nudge nudge. They could have... <laughs> when it, they could have Delacroix. Oh, oh, nice, because that's a character from the game. Mm-hmm. They could oh. have Delacroix cider. <laughs> Can you write that down? <laughs> <laughs> I will write that down. Yep, see, I'm it's the, already a hit. I, I'm honestly surprised nobody picked up on that. I was thinking, when is someone going to make a Delacroix joke? And no one had, so I thought, no, now's my time to say this. Get this out and have my little moment. Box art. Can you taste a sound? Can I borrow a feeling? <laughs> <laughs> Can I borrow a feeling? I <laughs> 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 uh, love it. I wish I could sing like that. Like, uh, Millhouse's dad. <laughs> What's his name? What's Millhouse's dad's name? Simpsons um, trivia. Uh, let me ask, we're all, he'll know. I can't remember. <gasps> he said he forgot. Uh oh. That's crazy. Because he watches the episodes almost like all the time. Van Kirk. Van Horton is that their last name? Millhouse Van Horton. Let's look this up. Kirk. 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 As you said that, Rawl just told me he just remembered at the same time. Oh my god. What's the wife's name? Luanne. I don't know, but but she gets a lot of men. Luanne. You're cheating, Daniel. You're looking this up. My mouse has been on the screen this whole time. <laughs> Hard to... <laughs> Probably right. That one I do remember. <clears throat> Uh, what have I done wrong here? I've done something not right. Oh, that's what I've done. Mm, silly me. Here's some questions from chat. Will an in-game cassette player which can play our own music be implemented? Mm, that's no. unlikely. And then, System Shock 1 had great portraits of the characters. How do you plan on implementing visuals for the characters in the final? They are being redone um, by Rob Waters. He is uh, repainting all the, all the character portraits using uh, like conceptual art techniques, like digibashing and uh, 3D modeling, mm -hmm. which is really cool. They're coming out really great too. Did we show a picture of uh, um, Diego? Diego? Ooh, no. A, Ooh, am I allowed to? Am I allowed to? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Oh my. Um. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Should we? What do you think? 
Well, if you're gonna leave that up to the stream, I think I know what the answer is gonna be. Uh. Eh. Okay, fine. Yeah, right. I've got to find it now. Oh, it's probably all the way back up in uh, the art channel. Let me go uh, scrolling. Keep scrolling, 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 scrolling. <laughs> Damn you, Fred Durst. <laughs> what have you done? Oh man, this might be a fair ways away, actually. There's lots of random questions coming in. Will Steven be recording all the Edward Daigle lines for System Shock? Nope. <laughs> Shodan versus Skynet, who wins? Shodan. The Terminator. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't think... I'll probably do a, one voice in the game. I will do all the voices. I'll just monotonally read them all. Here's another question. I asked Carly this, but she said to ask you. Question one. If System Shock remake goes well, will System Shock 2 be remade? Uh, System Shock 2 is remade. Will it be a one-for-one one or more Doom-like? Will System Shock 3 have the same style? System Shock 1 remake. It would be cool to see. And LaCroix isn't as good as you say it is. Wow. <laughs> it ends with that. Shot, shot's fine. All right. Well, then I'm not answering any of your questions. <laughs> oh, no. The LaCroix fight is getting too big. It's tearing this family apart. You're tearing me apart, uh, Lisa. I'll turn this car around. <laughs> Um, let me see if I can answer those. Uh, the System Shock Remake goes well. There he is. Yes, System Shock 2 will be remade. It will, one, at one point or another. Will it be one-to-one -one or more like Doom? Uh, I can't really answer that question right now. I mean, I would think that it's going to be similar to what we're doing to System Shock 1 right now, where it's more or less going to be similar, but with the assets updated. Um, System Shock 3 had the same style as System Shock 1. Um, I don't believe so. Uh, we're not in charge of that. Okay. Oop. There's Edward Diego. Or at least that, that's some art for him. LaCroix is not as good as you say it is. Debate. <laughs> he wants us to debate it? Uh... There it is. Hi, my name is Edward Diego and I'm a big jerk. Big baddie. It's a great illustration though. Someone says he looks like uh, Ricardo Montalban. Is that how you say his last name? Montalban? Kind of does, actually. I have to look that up. From Fantasy Island, that guy? Oh. Yeah. I can see Is it. Is that the little guy? That's the little no, guy, right? No, no, the, oh. the, <laughs> I was about to say the big guy. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's a better way to say it. he played Khan. Oh, yeah, he's cool. I like that guy. Did was he in anything else besides those two things? I don't know a lot of things actually. Apparently, he was also in Naked Gun, but I don't remember who he was in that movie. Oh my god! Oh my god! Mm. 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 Oh, okay. Just remembering things. PNG. Yeah. Like you look at his IMDb page and it's quite long. Uh. 
A lot younger than that. Mm. Oh yeah, and he plays the grandpa in Spy Kids 3D. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I forgot about that. Who did the work for Edward Diego and how is it made? Like, what program? Um, Rob Waters did that. And I believe he used Mudbox. Would you dare to change the most iconic scene of the game? The Polito form is dead insect. Are you afraid? What is it you fear? The end of your trivial existence. Uh, I don't think we... I mean, we wouldn't change the reveal, um, like the writing or the narrative side of it, but the way that it's revealed, maybe visually. Um, there was a guy uh, who we worked with a little bit um, uh, who remade that scene in the Cry Engine. Yeah. And uh, he did an exceptionally cool job of that, re-envisioning what that would be like. And so it would probably be... We would take a similar approach to it. How many polygons will be needed to make Cyborg Diego's butt? And can we investigate? <laughs> wow. Asking the questions that matter. Uh, based on some of these other... I mean, I'd have to take a look at the, the concept sheet, which I don't think we have one for him yet in the Cyborg form. But I'm going to say probably at least 100 million polys. <laughs> at least. That's one, heck, <laughs> that's one heck of a butt. Super smooth. Oh, we're still having the debate with Nate the Destroyer. There are at least 10 drinks better than LaCroix off the top of my head. <laughs> I think, yeah, well... <clears throat> I'm not going to debate that. I totally agree. <laughs> Ooh. Horn Fluffy says, Where does the crew poop? In the original SS, there was no bathroom. <laughs> Poop in buckets with bathrooms um, incorporated in the level design. <laughs> that's kind of the plan, right? There's going to be bathrooms. It gotta be. We got so many concepts of bathrooms. It's been like a whole month just concepting bathrooms. <laughs> Can we have Univac in the remake? What was that again? Univac? Oh, isn't that like a That's not a reference for the game, isn't that like a reference to like real life? Uvac, no idea. Sounds Slavic. <laughs> Will you remake the Cyborg Reaver game over screen? Yep. Yeah, I want to add more. Hopefully, we have the time to do it, but I want to add more, more death sequences. But the Cyborg Reaver game over scene has got to be in there. You plan on turning some of the walls with computers on them into complex 3D models as to... Yes. As opposed to being flat walls. Yes. Yeah, we've got computers. Mm -hmm. That will be added to the walls. <clears throat> Make also... Diego's butt shine. <laughs> it's also... Uh, this is another argument for why we can't have completely flat paper-thin walls because we want to make them all nice and detailed. And in order to do that, we need space to make them slightly 3D. So, that's the reason why. Thumbnails for trailer video. One per video, 1280 by 720. Okay. Oh my god, I got so many images to make this. I'm actually doing something for... Actually, I can't say. Never mind. Delete that. <laughs> <laughs> I take it back. Take it back. Two, four, six, eight... 
That is a longer hallway than you think it is. Carly, how do you like Octopath Traveler? Um, so I just started playing it. Um, I haven't had much as much time as, as I wanted to, but I really like how the art came together on that. Um, I started on the Merchant Path, which is like unusual for me. I would have normally started with a different class, but I was curious <laughs> about it, and I like it so far. Did you get it? I didn't, no. I was hearing that unless you want digital, um, there's like no more physical copies. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be one of those, I think, that people are gonna collect it and... Hoard it? Yeah. I have a copy on order. Yeah. I wanted to try it out ever since they kind of advertised it. Um, I wasn't I... sold on it right away. I thought it looked really cool, so I immediately went out and Pre you know that guy, uh, Creamy Elephant? <laughs> yes. No. I love that guy's name. No, like no. He's one of our backers, and he's in the Discord a lot. Um, he just got it, and I read what he was saying on um, uh, Twitter, and he said to turn the voices off. The voices are not good. <laughs> I, I, I don't like them. Um... So, I feel bad when I don't like English voice acting, uh, but I started on the merchant path, and the mom sounds like she's from, like, Wisconsin or Minnesota or something like that. It was very f funny sounding. <laughs> so, like, anybody from Fargo? Yeah, she's, she sounds like she's, like, the merchant mother from Fargo. Ooh, that's cutting it very close. But I'm having fun playing it, so well, I'm glad good. I got it. Is it like kind of a very traditional JRPG kind of game? Yeah, it is. Um, the unique part comes in with um, how you play as the characters. Like you have to pick one to start as, and then you'll eventually have them all join together in a party. So they all have different starting areas and stories. Oh. And to build, like, you don't need all of the characters to get through the game, but it would certainly help. So there's like eight total characters you can have. Though I, w I was reading that there's other ones you can recruit, but they're not like part of the main character stories. You can just summon them. I don't know enough yet. I didn't, I didn't play the demo and I, I just kind of went in on a whim. I'm lucky that I got a physical copy, so I didn't pre-order it. I just kind of like the day it came out, I did an online order for pickup in store with my Target because they had two copies left, Ooh. and they yeah got it. <laughs> That's fortunate. Yeah, I got very lucky. I mean, people can get it digitally. So it's nothing stopping them from playing it, but... Yeah, but what if you're, like, a collector? I know. Well, I bought the physical, so I'm one to talk, but... <laughs> With um, certain games, I like to have a physical. But, like, I bought Golf Story for my Switch, which is digital, and I'm fine with that. <laughs> you don't want the, <laughs> the physical version of that? Did he even have a physical version? I don't know. <laughs> it's just a tiny little RPG. It sounds cute. Golf story. It's like Earthbound RPG esque, but about golf. <laughs> I I'm I'm into it. Oh yeah, I heard about that. It's got good reviews. 
Do you know what I want that's only available in, in America that I'm really salty about right now? Huh. You know, you could just ask me to get stuff for you. I what, do region that, locks? Do that oh wait, me. Switch isn't region locked, so... Okay, so there's a really nice... Okay, there's, there's this... I'm so predictable. There's this little game called Little Dragon's Cafe. Oh, that's oh. not going to be available to you? It not not physically no not in a physical copy and I want a physical oh. copy and the collector's edition I think has this adorable little dragon that you can collect. It does. I want Wait. it. Want you it. have people here in the states that could easily do that for you. That's true. The switch is not region locked, so you could play an American copy. Steve. Mm -hmm. I've <laughs> sent you stuff before. <laughs> can you do me a solid on this? Yeah, solid. Yeah, I could probably do that. <laughs> when is Be this, right back, just you remind guys. me remind me when it comes out and, and I will I will get that for Yay, you. Yay, thank you. <clears throat> do, do, do. The Zone of the Enders. I've heard of that name before. It's a PS2 series, wasn't it? Um, but they're remaking it or something? I don't know. I've heard good things. You know, it's like, what aren't they remaking these days? <laughs> right? Mm, I feel a bit weird answering this question, but yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the irony is not lost on me. Yeah. Look at these remakes coming out, it's so boring, so original. <laughs> oh my god, there's only 40 minutes left of the stream? Jeez, that flew by. I didn't realize you'd gone. Oh, I said BRB like this when oh, talking, so I oops. didn't know if you heard me. Oops, no, I didn't, sorry. I heard you. Thanks. Two, four, <laughs> hundred. <laughs> what? I am a good listener. <laughs> I am not. I just noticed there's 52 people watching. Oh, hi, 52. Wow. Well, last time I checked, it was like 20. I think it was all the links from Mattel. Must have oh, yes. brought in the, the real crowds. <laughs> we've, we've got the hardcore Barbie toy collectors in now. Well, then let me talk about Barbie. Just kidding. Though, so, back when I played Neopets, there was like, like this uh, joke with the... I think they were called usuals. I don't know how you would say them, the Uziels or whatever. They looked kind of like a fluffy bunny creature in Neopets. They they had their own line of Barbies based off them in like the web game, so you could collect those. And I collected those. <laughs> yeah. Two, four, six. I want to play more Octopath today. I wanted to play it yesterday more, but it was so hot here that I could not focus. And then my my switch felt hot holding it. And I was like, this is just extra heat that I don't need right now. Hmm. Um, so I'm going to take off a little bit early because I came in late. You? I figured, you know, why not Keep cut it, it short on both ends? 
<laughs> well, can you confirm our movie club movie for a chat? Movie today? club movie, uh, Event Horizon. Yeah. Go to yeah, Event Horizon. Go to movie club on Discord, and we'll chat about it all week. Let's make the due date I... Friday. Okay. Yeah, and I like really want to. Um, um, yeah, watch it again. <laughs> I want to watch it. There's some pretty ridiculous things that happen in it, but uh, some of the effects are really great. Is it a space yeah. film? Is it a is it a comedy in action? What is it? Space horror. Space horror. Okay. Sci-fi horror. Yeah. Like aliens, but not. Am I right? Say that one more time. I'm sorry, I was reading huh? a question on here. Um, I know, I saw questions too. I was like, huh? Is it like aliens or not? Or a little bit? Hmm. Maybe like poltergeist in space? Maybe? I don't know. It's hard to describe. It's kind of like a very unique film. Okay. It's good. Sounds cool. It's good. Not great, but it's fun. I like it. them saying Event Horizon's a Warhammer 40k prequel movie. <laughs> 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 oh god, that's one film I had to sit through. That was a utter snorefest. Warcraft. Here's a question. Don't know if this has been uh, asked. Will there be a pre-alpha demo? And if there is, can you give us an estimate of when it'll be out? So yes, we have a, an alpha thingy coming. What we're calling it again? Adventure Alpha. Adventure Alpha, and that's guesstimated for September. That's right, but it's going to be a closed alpha. Yeah. Um, it's not going to be open to every Kickstarter backer. Um, we have to keep the numbers very, very small at first because uh, we have to have NDAs in place and trying to do 22,000 NDAs would be a nightmare and wouldn't work. Um, so we'll probably do uh, the first batch of people in September when we launch it and then um, when we get to the closed beta, that's when we're going to invite all the uh, the backers in, as per their um, what level they backed at. Okay, I, I got to get going, but um, I will talk to you two later. Bye. Bye. Enjoy the rest of the stream, and yeah, I'll see you soon. See ya. Have a good day. Bye bye. Just us now, Kali. We gotta chug through this last 30 minutes. Mm hmm. 30 minute challenge. Ooh, have we. Are we doing the key thing or not? Oh, I've only. I've decided to only do those on Fridays, but since you said it, maybe we'll do one this week too. Okay. I'll do it for funsies. Okay, sounds good. That's two, four, six. Is that really 600 vertically? Okay then. <laughs> I love it. Dark Blue Monkey says, okay, now that Steve's gone, we can start Barbie chat again. <laughs> <laughs> chat about whatever you want. I will just smile and nod and pretend like I understand what you're talking about. So I've opened uh, the ability for people to enter the raffle with exclamation point raffle. Uh, let me decide what game we'll give away while people enter. That is two, four, six, eight hundred units tall. Hmm. How about we give away a copy of Metropolis? Sounds good. I'll give away two keys for Noctopolis. Two, 
two, four, six hundred round there. All right. Um, let me think. I will draw the first winner in one minute. So enter now, exclamation point, raffle. Whack. Uh, two, then two, four, People six. People keep spelling eight. raffle wrong. This is Raphael. Raphael, we don't have anybody <laughs> called Raphael who works here. <laughs> And then Papi did Raphael. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be in it to win it, but you also have to spell it right to win it. Two, four, six, eight hundred that way. And we've got, oh yeah, I forgot about you. All right, I'm about to pick the winner. Um, Alright, I'm gonna pick the first winner now. Oh, funny enough, it's the person that was spelling it wrong the most. <laughs> Nate the Destroyer won. <laughs> Congrats. I will draw one more winner in just a minute. Or do we want to save it? Huh? Do we want to save it for a bit later? Oh yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll raffle it in like 15 minutes. Mm-hmm. Gotta keep you guys here, you know? You can't just take your keys and then disappear. Because that's, like, that's, <laughs> that's, that's that's rude. Uh, let's see, 246 that way, then 200. Then we've got this funny-shaped corridor. Um, On my stream on Wednesday, I should be finishing up Noctropolis. What's this I'm hearing about Steve posting the key in chat publicly <laughs> for the winner? Oh, oh boy. <laughs> oh yeah, you went around for that, were you? That was... I was out of town. Yeah. Good thing, really. Yeah, Steve tried to whisper and it went... He didn't He kind of whisper the key so much as yell it through like, a megaphone. Oh and uh, it was a case of, oh, the key that you just kind of loudspeaked out was gone. So then we started That's doing just kind of like random key giveaways, but we, oh kind gosh. Of, we we kind of switched it up a little bit. It's like, okay, so we'll remove one number from this key. you got to guess which one it is, and the first person to get it wins. Wild Wild West of key giveaways. Mm-hmm. So that was kind of fun. <laughs> no, Penguin says mentioning the incident is a fireable offense. <laughs> <laughs> that incident. All right, in 10 minutes, I will choose a winner for the second copy of Noctropolis. So enter now if you want to win. Hmm. That's just a 400 by 400 block, isn't it? Yeah. Possibly. It is. I don't have it. Ugh, come on, Unreal. Behave. Well, my chat just hiccuped and, like, I got 20 new messages 
at once. Wow. So yeah, this area should look in, should be looking fairly familiar to you guys. Uh, Nate's wondering, will you guys ever get out a, give out a system shock key? If you mean for enhanced edition, I would do the bundle frequently until it came to the point where everyone had the bundle that was in my giveaways. So I took a break from it. I want to give some love to um, the other games in our library. Hmm, okay, I guess that isn't 400 by 400. Maybe on Friday during the next stream, um, we can do some system shock and bundle keys. You know? I find it funny that you didn't commit a name to that stream. Okay, well, you never know what's going to happen. <laughs> I need to restart my Unreal because it's checking too hard. It's misbehaving. Plus, I get me a swig of water. A what? Swig of water. Oh, I think it's a, a swig award, and I was like, what is that? There we go. They're blaming it on the Diego butt polys. <laughs> Gotta make thick walls for that thick Diego booty. <laughs> I'm gonna call it instead of system shock, but system thick. <laughs> That's how you know we're approaching the end of the stream. I'm just saying things. <laughs> that nose is fully kicked in. Oh, you are na you are now just babbling, but it's fine. Uh, six. I babble to be fair, but that's only because I'm tired. I enjoy our our Twitch chats because, like, I'm like reading them, and people always have just the most spectacular things to say. <laughs> Okay. 
got a fair amount done today. We have about 20 minutes left of the stream. I'll give away our key in five minutes. A thousand. Two, four, hang on. Two, four, six. Close again. I was nervous about level one from the start, really, because I knew what kind of a level it was. It's one of those levels that is really tightly packed with stuff. It is a big level and it is also a spatial nightmare. Mm, I can understand that. Um, here's a question. Do you think that streaming the development process formed a new perspective on your personal view of the game you're making because of the chat and etc? Hmm. Uh, my opinion of the game stays the same. Um. Maybe from like a developer perspective, not from a personal. Oh, um... Like, I think they want to know, like, are you viewing, like, it differently because you're actually putting it together and the chat is involved, I guess? Mm, not really. I'm just doing... I'm just doing what I would do anyway off camera, essentially. Um, my... Um... Opinion, uh, developer-wise, it's um, it's all it's all good to me. Uh, so I'm just trying to work something out in my head. Um, a big part of these streams too were um, to give more transparency into how we're doing things. And like uh, make those who want to be involved be able to be more involved. Yeah, this is a chance for you guys to see what we're doing. It's um, it's been a while, and we know that. Um, but yeah, you get to see how it's all shaping up. So wants to know so far what's been your favorite level to build? Uh, level eight. Of course. Level eight was by far the most fun. Um, the one I still have nightmares about, as I mentioned before, is level seven. Oh my god! Come on. Behave, please. Don't do this to me. Alright, I'm about to draw the next winner of our second code for Noctropolis. Enter now if you haven't already with exclamation point raffle. Two, four, six, eight.
I saw that Donatello in the chat. <laughs> That's cutting it so close. Right, that wall's. The winner is. Oh, oh sorry. Oh. I announced the winner in chat. It's Chia. So yeah, uh, this wall. When you come out of the. Four five one. As if you need reminding that that keypad is four five one. Uh, so that wall there is, I've had to split that up into three walls and that wall is so thin. <sighs> Cutting that kind of close. But it should be okay. Flat ceiling, yay! People are talking about other devs um, streaming uh, on our channel, but I mean, we can only, they only have so much time to be able to do stuff like that. So we try our best to get people's availability. Mm -hmm. oh, so that wall is that, but it's also that. GGD wants a programmer stream, but technically Matt was programming on stream when we did the E3 one. <laughs> yeah. But I don't think any of the programmers really feel interested in streaming because I don't feel like they feel like it's interesting and they don't really, I don't think they have the energy or time for it either. Programming, programming is a difficult one for many reasons. Um... There is isn't. There is also a side to it that I'm not sure it might be quite understood, but... Um, so, what... I'm not, sure, I'm not sure how much of this is actually valid, but... Uh, with a programming stream, it's just text, but... Um, unlike the stuff that I'm doing, other people could copy that text, and they could take it for their own thing, which might be a problem. Um, we don't want to, I guess, like, 
possibly share vital programming information that could be a bit dangerous. I'm not sure. There's lots of elements to it, but I mean, everyone's interested in seeing different things. So I know people are interested in seeing the programming stuff. It's just harder mm. to stream that. One, two, three, four. Yeah, DNAK84 pretty much nailed it. it. Proprietary information like that can be, you know, it's it's complicated. Close that cuts to the floor of this area. Living dangerously here. Uh, let's see, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. We can just make this floor one big piece, I think. Oh well. Mm. Not that bit. But the rest of this we can. So this big piece should be two, four, six, eight, a thousand. Yep, that's looking good. Wow, we have about five minutes left. Any last minute questions from anyone? Uh, did you give away that key? Yes, you did. Sorry. I did. Yeah, this area I'm not expecting to remain in the final game as it looks. Like we had that whole um, sort of huge shot of Saturn and the and the sun uh, that you could see in the distance and all that. So I'm not expecting this to remain in the final thing at all. But it's fine. It needs doing.
Uh, Dean NLK says, uh, will you please accept my thanks for staying online as long as you did? I was late to show up. Oh, no problem. Uh, here's one. I had a question earlier. Will the mutant's idle animation still look like he's picking out a wedgie? <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe. I <laughs> don't know. Uh, just going back to the previous thing, um, I did actually have discussions with Carly maybe to end the stream a little bit early because I, I won't lie, I'm I'm tired. I haven't been sleeping well. Purely because of the heat. The humidity Heat is, does make it hard. Yeah. So, right, currently it's nearly midnight. Um... The humidity is still 94%. I actually slept without blankets last night, mm. which never happens. It's uh, In Huddersfield, it's, fif it's 15 degrees at midnight. Humidity is 94%. I'm sat here, I'm just... I am sweating. Uh, and I'm not doing anything. It's so bad. We're not, u we're not used to this over here. Um, there's some more questions that I'm going to get to real fast. Actually, I had a question for the Cyborg Elite survey. What kinds of enemy names are lore appropriate for what enemies like? Should cyborgs have gamer tags or mutants have human names? Uh, mutants should have... Uh, well, the... Mutants should have human names. We won't accept anything like mutant, mutant face. Uh, or anything like that. Obviously, that won't be acceptable. Um... Just go with your name. Um, that will be acceptable. Um, I mean, it doesn't have to be your own name if you don't want it to be. But yeah. try to be reasonable with your entries. Yeah, be sensible because if you blow it, you don't get another chance kind of thing. Like, I'm logging all of these in a spreadsheet to make it easier um, once it's time to implement all this and I don't want to have to hunt people down because I don't want to re-message people. <laughs> no. There there's that simply would be a madness. Yeah, there's simply too many too many people and there's we can only spend a finite amount of time on this earth. <laughs> so don't don't do anything yeah. stupid. Don't blow your chance because you ain't getting another one. <laughs> the chances you have are based on how I feel while logging all of these. <laughs> so you're up to my mercy. <laughs> um, here's another thing. What will happen if the walls are too thin and you have to rework? Like, will it go back to grayboxing or will it work with the final assets at that point? Um, well, I think that all of the gray boxing stuff will be assessed. If we do find uh, something, uh, we should be able to work around it because by that point we'll have enough art assets anyway to um, work around most problems. Um, I actually went back to the reactor level today and corrected a few things. I changed the geometry in a few areas a little bit so it's uh, so it just makes more sense. But it's nothing that anybody is going to notice unless they go over it with a magnifying glass. Or, a, look they will. or a looking glass. Yeah. Uh, um, is there a chance that we'll see streams regarding gameplay and the design of it? I don't know. It depends. We'll, we'll see when we like get to the point where we might... I, that's like kind of a, a weird stream. But there's a chance we could do stuff like that. I just don't know how we would present it. It was talked about a long time ago. Um, could still happen. Yeah. We I mean, I have some ideas on how that kind of a stream format could work. It's just a matter if whoever's doing it will want to do it. Mm. If, oh. There's too many variables. I could do it. <laughs> I'd, yeah, do it. I, I'd be up for it. Um, would my Twitch name be okay for something like a cyborg assassin? I think so. Uh, Duncan. It's just it looks like a name, but with a zero in it. That doesn't seem too weird for a cyborg. Um, I'm not sure. Like we'll ha we'll have to, we will. The way we'll do it is we'll probably literally go through a list of names and it will be either a thumbs up or a thumbs down. 
Yeah, once I have the spreadsheet done, I'll share it with the devs and we'll go through it and see what happens. And depending on the situation, I could potentially message people back about their answers, depending. Yeah. People are saying, uh, how long will you have to decide on our names? Um, I would like to have it figured out before um, end September, to be honest. Mm. Like, by the time the Adventure Alpha is out, I want people to have all their answers in. That would be ideal in my, my eyes. Question is, Sparkbeam going to be redesigned to avoid Paramount, Paramount lawyers? Hmm. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. That's we're a mystery. We're having, we're having similar thoughts about the laser rapier. Um, for extremely obvious reasons. Um, we don't know yet. We need to sit down and... Um, have a big boy discussion about that stuff. Right, right here's yeah. the last question and then we'll end the stream. Mm -hmm. Will you guys shove your names in the game, like maybe have your faces and names on IDs of dead security guards or some uh, data logs in the ship or something? Hmm. Uh, there will be things. Uh, can't, There's stuff and things. Can't, can't say what, but we have ideas for what we might do. Um, It'll be fun. Mm, it will. All right. Okay. Let's wrap this up. Yeah, I just realized I kept going when I should have really stopped. Um, yeah, I just noticed we're just past our time. Not too much, but just past. So, mm -hmm. any last words, Daniel? Um, yeah, as usual, thanks for tuning in and watching. It's always fun to do this. Uh, it's always fun chatting with you guys and... Uh, uh, seeing how the community is feeling about everything that we do um, so yeah thanks very much um, so the next stream will be on Monday or if Steve has to do other things probably maybe oh, well. Friday uh, my stream is on uh, Wednesday for Noctopolis and Steve should be Friday mm -hmm. um, join us on Discord, Twitter, Facebook all of that and if you guys have any further questions about like your survey regarding uh, like uh, human corpse, cyborg, all that junk that I sent out the surveys for, please just DM, DM me on Discord for the fastest help. Mm -hmm. That's always the best way to get in contact with us. Um, yeah. Direct message, Discord. Yeah, this week I'll be kind of trying to get through all of the, the survey stuff, so see ya. <laughs> yeah, thanks very much, guys. So... We're calling that a night. Um, until next time, stay safe, take care, look after yourselves, and see you later. Bye-bye.